Today, I want to give you a little tour of Arc Browser, the most beautiful and well-designed browser I have ever used. Arc is the most innovative browser that has come out in a very long time. Arc is packed with really well-thought, well-designed, smart and useful features that make browsing the web a really enjoyable experience. Because Arc is full of so many tiny but smart features, I find myself being way more productive with Arc than with any other browser. Let me show you why. After you go to Arc net and download Arc, right from the installation screen you will see how different and cool Arc is. After you create an account, you will be asked to import your data from other browsers. You will also pick a color for a theme and you will be able to adjust the brightness and even give it a texture as well. Then you will get to pick some of your favorite sites. You will be asked if you want Arc to block ads by default and after it's all done, you will end up on Arc's welcome screen. Okay, now that you installed Arc, let me give you a quick tour. In Arc, most of the action happens in the sidebar where you can click to open a new tab or can click to search on a search engine. Or you can use the shortcut Command T to save time. One thing that you need to know is that Arc has this concept of spaces. Spaces are a group of tabs that you can divide depending on what you're doing. Here I have three spaces, one for studying, one for working, and one for chilling. To add a website to a space so it's always there, all you have to do is open it and then drag it to the space. To create a new space, just scroll to the right. There you will get to create a new space. You can write the name and select a different theme color for your new space. When you have a website you go to very often, you can drag it to your favorite area. The favorite area is the same across spaces. If you scroll to the left, you will have access to the media on your device, your downloads, notes and easels, spaces, boosts and archived tabs. Media and downloads make sense. Media are your photos and videos, and we know what downloads are. Spaces is what we just talked about. Archived tabs are all the tabs you closed, so your browsing history. Notes and easels and boosts is what we are going to talk about now. To create a note, we can go to the sidebar, press the plus icon and then select new note. That will open a notion-like editor where we can write down whatever we need. I use this feature a lot when I'm studying to take notes about what I'm reading. I can just open the note and then drag another website next to it. An arc will create a really cool split screen that can be either vertical or horizontal. An easel is like a scratch pad where you can combine text, drawings, arrows, images, screenshots and shapes. I don't use it as much but I reckon many designers and marketers will. Boosts are such a cool thing. Boosts allow you to change how a website looks like. When you're on a website you want to customize, by clicking on the settings icon on the navigation bar and selecting new boost, you will be able to choose a new color for the website. You can change the font size, font family, and casing. And if you want to, you can inject your custom CSS and JavaScript code. You can even share the boost when you're done with other Arc users. If you don't have any boosts and want to grab one boost from the boost gallery, just scroll to the left, click on boosts and open the link to the gallery. There you can find other boosts that you can just click and add to your Arc. I love the concept of boosts. It's such a great idea. Talking about great ideas, if we click again on the settings next to the URL, we will see two buttons to take screenshots. One is to take a screenshot of a region of the page that we can save, retake or edit with arrows, drawings and text. The other button is to create a screenshot of the whole page. Arc will scroll down the page and take a capture of all of it. Super useful. There is also developer mode, which I really like. Once activated, we will get to see the URL at the top of the page. We will also get a shortcut to take a screenshot, open the console, the network panel and inspect element. Another sweet thing is the picture and picture. If enabled, whenever you're watching a video and switch to another tab, the video will automatically enter picture and picture and float to the lower corner of the screen. I recommend disabling this if you want to focus, but it is still very cool. Another cool thing is that when you click on a link while pressing the shift key, the tab will open on a mini browser tab. You can browse the tab and when you're done, you can press escape to close it. Or if you want to, you can promote it to a separate new tab. Another feature that I find myself using a lot is Little Arc. Little Arc is a smaller, simpler Arc window that you can open from anywhere using the option, command, and shortcut. It's super useful for looking something up when you're taking notes in Obsidian or on a Zoom meeting and you don't want to open a home browser. And if Arc is your default browser, any link you open from another app will open using Little Arc. Last but not least, I need to show you how Arc uses AI. Arc Max is a bunch of AI tools that will make your browsing experience 
Excellent. To enable it, we press Command T, which is the same shortcut we use to go to a website or search on the web. Then we write Arc Max and we turn it on. Arc Max has five really awesome tools. Ask on page is a feature that allows you to ask questions about a website where you are to an AI. To use it, just press Command F on any website and ask questions about its content. It will answer and it will also show you where in the page the answer is from. Five second preview is a feature that we can activate by pressing shift and putting the mouse on top of a link. When we do this, Arc will create a mini preview of the website and make a summary of it using AI, saving you a click. The Tidy Tabs feature uses AI to automatically rename your pinned tabs with tidier, shorter titles. And the Tidy Downloads feature will rename your downloaded files with better, easier to find titles. And finally, the Ask ChatGPT keyboard shortcut allows you to use ChatGPT from Arc. Keep in mind that at the end of the day, Arc is a Chromium-based browser. So all the developer tools you are used to and all the extensions that work on Chrome also work in Arc. Arc is also available for iPhone, which is very cool because you can sync your tabs and share links between desktop and phone. Unfortunately, Arc is not available for Windows, but I just watched a video where the developers of Arc announced they are working on a Windows version. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you knew about Arc and if you are using it already. And if you haven't heard of it, let me know what you think about it and what is the feature you want to try out the most. And remember that if you want to learn to code for free with me, all you have to do is click the link below. There you will find free courses on JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, and Next.js, among many others for free. We have courses for all levels, from beginners to advanced, all for free. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onjana, kamsahago, sanam hamida, see you on the next one, down me bio, bye bye.